Everybody outside today, bro, but it's the first day of New York Fashion Week. As y'all can see, I'm already outside in the city. But we got this shoot that I'm going to right now with Hoka. I brought my other battery too, so hopefully my camera, well, when it die, I got the other battery. But we wanted to shoot right now from 12.30 to 2.00. Um, bro, I've been real tired recently while just walking. Like, I need to go to the gym. But hopefully this shoot go valid. After that, I'm going to go home, probably change. I got another event to go to later, a few events to go to later. But, yeah, man, we're going to see when we get to the shoot. Tap in. Bro, Fashion Week this week is insane, bro. I don't know why it's so hot outside, bro. Like, I'm literally sweating and have to shoot. And I'm sweating. This is not, this is not good. Uh-huh. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Get into it. There's 950 million thousand degrees. We're chilling right here with the Hoka team. We all finna get this shoot going. Two hours to get in and get out. I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna go to sleep. Actually, I got another event after this. And I wasn't gonna go to it later probably, but Johnson just asked me about it. So I might have to. Yeah, kind of like look at me, like looking more at us for stash. My name is CJ Sider and this is my fly report. I'm a content creator based in New York City. I'm from St. Louis, Missouri, and I used to be a Division One athlete, but now I get fly, so come with me. All right, so for my hat, I got on the OMA pink beanie from Old Man Allen, shout out my guy. Aquila sunglasses, entire studio, big jacket, big bomber, chains from Sela, Motion, and Vitaly. T-shirt is from Zeke, my homie Isaac make a lot of good cool boxes, blank tees. Xavier on the belt, my favorite jeans, my blowout denim from Basket Case Gallery, and then my hokas. And for my outfit, I just decided the shoes are super chunky, so I wanted to go with like a chunky outfit because proportions matter. If you're getting fly, make sure you got proportions. But I would say my fashion inspiration is probably music. So I listen to a lot of different types of music. If I wake up in the morning and I listen to 60, 70 music, I go for like bell bottom type of looks. And then if I want to go baggier, streetwear type of look, I listen to all the like new age music. So Uzi's, ASAP Rocky, I can say he's one of the style inspos. But outside of that, really just music. Fashion makes me feel unique, uh, get fly every day, and put on the things that I decide I want to put on based on how I feel. Being in New York City also makes it like you'll see somebody outside in a certain outfit and ideally you'll think like maybe I wouldn't wear that but you respect the confidence that people will build in their own outfits that's catered to them. So it makes me feel great and I feel like I'm on top of the world and can't nobody tell me nothing. My outfit still. Yeah. I did it just in time. Too. You did. I was, like, I was about to milk it <laughs> one or two more sentences. What trends are standing out to you this year? Like what trends are you loving? Uh, Okay, top. Yeah, that's okay. Make authentic to you. Yeah. The crop tees. <laughs> <laughs> that's the trend you like. That's the trend you like. Uh, you're right. Okay, the trends that I like now is that everything is in. Like everybody can wear whatever, and everybody has a certain like niche of style. And it's nobody that's walking around kind of just like, oh, that's not fly or that doesn't look good. Besides, like the people who wear dunks and um, You're good. Keep going. the people who wear dunks and like the NBA vintage teams, that's that's okay. But I guess one more trends, I say jorts, um, cause jorts it fits certain people's proportions different, and a lot of people didn't like the trend of jorts, but I feel like jorts have always really been a thing. It's just in the now of fashion, TikTok, and Instagram and everything. So uh, I like George and then, like I said, just everybody's style being accepted right now. Everything's in, and I guess that's the trend in on it. Yeah. And my passions are, obviously what I do right now as far as content creating and fashion content, and I want to use my platform, like my end goal for everything is just to be like a social media philanthropist, so wake up someday, and obviously you have to make a lot of money to try and get to that point, but I plan on using my platform to get there. Outside of that, working out, listening to music are some of my other hobbies, but I feel like I'm living out my dream and passion right now. A year ago, I was hoping for this moment, and this is what I do for a living now. I wake up, go about my day, handle business on the go instead of being in one place all day. Um, I guess that's really what my 
what my passion is. I, I, Tell me you love me on the camera. Say you what? Tell me you love me on camera. No. Say it. Say I love my. I, I yeah. I love. Uh, <laughs> right yeah, man. So this is day like four of fashion week. I think it is. Summer. No, it's probably three. But we headed to this fashion show right now. Got my dog Tay behind the camera. So y'all, what are y'all doing? You know what I'm saying? I'm here. Cool. My brother from back home, man. Yeah, bro. Came out, pop out, New York Fashion mm -hmm. Week. Mm-hmm. Haven't really been a fashion week, but shit, I'm outside for the vibe. Okay, no no okay. <laughs> but yeah, we on the way to like 34th Street or somewhere like that. We got a fashion show that's coming up with my homie uh, Kai. Niggas is chilling though, bro. I'm gonna let y'all know how the day go. We finna catch this train. It's probably like an hour train ride but just a fit check though real quick oma on the beanie man you know what i'm saying diallo shout out my homie dex xavier anthony bell i went with the truck you know what i'm saying the big balances because that's just how, how i do it motion on the chain man it's a lot on the chain but train finna come so we out here. we just got to this fashion show it's a lot of people that's downstairs waiting right now but I just came outside because I just felt like it wasn't no point of waiting on there real quick. I'm waiting on Forrest and my agent, Trayana. So once they get here, I'm probably going to step in there. We're going to probably, shows usually last like 15 to 20 minutes type shit. But once they get here, I'm going to finally step in this John and we're going to see what they rocking with. It's women's wear, so can't complain about that. And, uh, yeah, I see you. What up? How you doing? Hi, CJ. Nice to meet you. And, uh, nice to meet you. This is my homie, Tay. Nice to meet you. Oh, my bro getting active. Where he at? I don't know. He said he was walking down here. Thank, Thank you. you. This shit gonna be I love my damn. What's up? Do I look like myself? You do. Best agent in the world right here. I she am. play no games. She get dropped the tea. You know what I'm saying? We be going crazy, yeah. but hopefully it's a good show though. Hell, if it's not that good, hopefully it's quick. I want this nigga Forrest to pull up. <laughs> Damn, we got the whole whole mob. This how New York be, bro. Everybody just be pulling up, showing out Forrest and pop up out of thin air, probably. Nah, knowing him though, no, he not. My dog. <laughs> Everybody was really dressing up for that shit. The girl, my homie Tay, bro, for it. On me. What up, man? <laughs> this shit crazy. From London to LA to New York. Oh, it's like a fit. I'm a cry. <laughs> reunion, man. It's reunion. Wow. Yeah. Man, my nigga Forrest, he really in here. He hold me on camera. Everything I got on is H and M and uh, Payless. You you not hip to you not hip to the Payless. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Hey, if Payless get if Payless give us 50 bands, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. We need that. Everything. Ah, uh, never mind. But yeah, man, respectfully, the show was cool, actually. It was cool. They put me on some new tunes. I'm a young nigga. I ain't heard half of that shit. You don't know shit about for real. Yeah, let niggas know that. Delete all that shit. <laughs> but nah, now we waiting on, now we waiting on Johnson, um, the owner of our agency, the head man, the VIP. And shit, we chilling, bro. Oh, yeah, let's get it. Ah, what up? Doing good. I'm doing good. Yes, good, sir. Good, good, good. Hey, how you doing? 
Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. At the uh, Tombogo. How's it going? It's not going good, man. Yeah. <laughs> What's this love and hip hop thing you went to? That's what this shit was, basically. The show was love and hip hop. But I mean, we can go to Denzel thing and eat. If y'all want to do that. Upside piece of the best pizza in New York. Fact. Yeah, look. We go out to Soho, man. I'm really just sit on this train by myself. <laughs> I didn't want to walk up Broadway. But niggas finna eat some pizza. That's Lucius. <laughs> the best pizza spot, bro. Best pizza spot. What you rock with more? You upside or you got a different spot? More pizza. Shit, upside damn near all I have, bro. <laughs> <laughs> upside a bus, though, man. It's a bitch bad, then I'm gonna throw it in the air. Top float in the continental in the air. I'm recording this shit and I'm chilling in the chair. It's high and dripping. This is my little brother Praise right here. He's shorter than me and younger than me. Shorter? Look at his boots. I'm just saying, they just big. On, they not bro. tall. I got Burks on, bro. They not even. And we going slanted ground. No, we not. Yes, we are. Angle the camera like this so they can't tell. <laughs> no. <laughs> Put this on me, bro. I can't dress compared to him, bro. You That's see that? Cap, bro. You what? That's cap. Bro. How'd you get this fly, man? Sometimes it's in you, not on you. Actually, all the time. Oh my God. Sometimes it's in you, not on you. I was gay, huh? <laughs> I ain't even think like that. No kisses. Oh my gosh, no kisses. Niggas finna eat at the number one spot in the whole galaxy, whole world, man. We going to Upside. I got stand by for it. He got social anxiety and these niggas surround him. Uh, niggas all just outside, bro. It's how I be, I guess. I just was trying to eat my food. Niggas all pop up session. You too. Yeah. <laughs> Only his but yeah, bro, I mean, shit. They said it's like a 35 minute wait, but we gonna go ahead and go crazy on Ruby's. Tay ain't never had Ruby, so that shit gonna slap. Forrest, he only had my fries from Ruby. Hey, bro, I hate to tell you this, bro. The veil, bro. He got the veil on, bro. <laughs> he said he don't rock the veil no more. Why not, bro? Cause they did what they did what they did to his man. What they do, bro? <laughs> what they do, bro? Like they nah. Nah. That shit is forbidden. Nah, that shit that piece hard, though. London Fashion Week. I didn't film nothing the last day or, well, yesterday, because it was my birthday and it was the first day at London. And I didn't feel like carrying my camera around. But now we got it. I'm fly. We getting to this show. Bay fly. It's the fit for the show. It is mine. I wasn't going to say nothing, but I mean, hey. But a few more stops after this, and we at the show. What show is this? Um, Ray Chu. Ray Chu show. So, if I'm not mistaken, this piece I got on under my shirt is Ray Chu. But I could be wrong. I was just grabbing shit, so, yeah. <laughs> we just got to the show. They said we early, so everybody out there standing and waiting. They said half three. Didn't know what the hell that meant. So, so now we just eating watermelon. Verdict, one out of ten. Eleven. I think they shit better than ours at home, respectfully, but I'm gonna show y'all what this show looking like. I ain't never, I think this is my second show since I've been here, but this watermelon is good as fuck. I'm gonna, show, I'm gonna do a fit check later, uh, or I might just add pictures, but y'all really be noticing me out here in London, for real. I got stopped by like two people. I got stopped by somebody last night. Shit be crazy. I ain't know it be going up like that. We've been out here taking pictures all day. <laughs> Okay, Taking top. pics the whole day. So look who I just ran into. Spaghetti, spaghetti, all that. Spaghetti, spaghetti, we outside uh -oh. with it. In life. <laughs> we in London we, Fashion Week. We, 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 we in the ends in it. Some calm shit though. It's a little hot outside. Which, I'm still throwing you, a puff. What, what you saying, fam? We need to upgrade to this shit, bro. We it's just finished at the event. Everybody out here fly though. Like, if you really peep game, hold up. Everybody, this whole line of people, everybody got that shit on. I don't say everybody, but people fly. Though. But me and some of the pause kids. More of the pause kids over there. More of the pause kids. I got one more show after this, then I got an event, and we're gonna call it rap. So let's get to it. These are gonna be like short ass clips, though, because I'm doing a lot of moving around and traveling and shit, so I might not be picking this up. But I got phone clips. Yeah, yeah, it seems like a, seems like a, it seems like I'm fine to the sky. Don't make a scene right now, a scene right now, cause I'm here for you, and I, we smoking green right now. Got some green on me, and whatever I'm paying that price, bitch, I'm going to eat my way too. And I'm 
I'm on the top floor with all these vibes. Call out my butt till it brings some more vibes. Bitch, I'm on my team, don't play with them guys. Bitch, I'm the one in the 1.5. And I'm top five, but not to the vibe. Bitch, I stay down, kept it real to the eye. And this shit came with pain, see that shit in my eyes. No, I don't flex, I be getting fly. And no, I don't stress by the bitch that ain't mine. Go get it, check. Now we're going in the train again to the next show. Got Bay. It's here. These are all my friends. The Pauls kids. We all are here. They say we're going to East London. Don't nobody know where this show at, nor do none of us have plus ones. I mean, we gonna see. Let's hope for the best. Right? Yeah. What's your name? Yeah. How old are you? Yeah. When your birthday? Yeah. Okay. Um, where are you from, actually? Philly. <laughs> I just got to Philly, man. Home of the tweakers. It's raining. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Look at her. Hi. Hi, babe. <laughs> oh, you got me some cheesecake. Dang, cheesecake and my favorite chips. Dang. Hey, guys. Hey guys, welcome. I'm in Philly, day two. Well, I guess it's the first full day, but I've been here cooking. She took over. I love the letter. My, my show. It is the second day in Philadelphia. I've been in here cooking all morning. Huh? Turn the thing down. I'm about to teach CJ how to make I've been in here cooking all morning. Because he doesn't know how to make eggs. Whoa, no she's not. All right, I'm finna show y'all how to make the best fucking eggs in the world. How many eggs you Listen to me. Yourself? You don't even eat eggs. I want oh. some. All right, I'm gonna show y'all how to make eggs, man. She got finna burn the damn crib down, Lord. You take your eggs and you crack them into the bowl. I feel like Emma Chamberlain. Well, you're not. <clears throat> Nigga Chamberlain. Then you gotta have seasoning. If it you don't right have there. no seasoning, mm. boom, boom, boom. But I'm missing something. Babe, can you hand me the cheese, please? Cheese is another ingredient that you need. Shit. That was onion powder. This is garlic powder. Just a little schmiz. And then a little of that Goya on top. You know what I'm saying? Goya adobo, guys. Breakfast of a champion, man. I wish we had some champagne. Slowly one of them people who's starting to drink for no reason. Good morning, everybody. We are here filming another video. Good morning. Hey, y'all. It's Chris. I've never said it's Chris. I'm face. back. Like Start your get ready with me with me in it. I'm not talking anymore. I know. Don't. I'm not going to say nothing. This, this mic is to my camera right now. I'm going to step in like this when you start off. I'm black. And then just cut it and start your video. They're gonna be like, what the fuck was he doing? Don't do that for real if you don't want to, babe. Hey. Move! <laughs> Go away! Go away! Okay. <laughs> Yo, what's good, y'all? If y'all made it to this part, it's probably a vlog that's been scattered all over everywhere, but we're gonna do this unboxing real fast. I got like, I ordered a bunch of shit off of Amazon randomly, impulse type of thing. And then I got, I don't know, a few packages in that could be PR stuff, but let's just jump right into it. I ain't gonna hold y'all for too long. So this first package is something that's for my girlfriend. I don't know what this is at all, but I sent it to her. She's like, she ain't know what it was. So she's like, just open it and let her know. And I'm like, don't mind if I do. It gotta be closed though, but why would they squeeze something in this little box? Oh, it's a skirt, long skirt. Okay, babe, this gotta be a Depop pickup though. She gonna be geeked about that one. Next box, this is for me, I don't know, it says from CKBG. I don't know what that is either, but this is why we do this, bro. We gotta see what the packs are, bro. I don't be knowing what half this stuff be, nor do I know I'm getting stuff sent to me in the mail. It just like, randomly stuff just be popping up. The fuck? Bro, what? Nah. <laughs> hey, bro. Super Bird Fuego Spicy Blanco Tequila. Bro, what is this? I don't know. Me and my girl got to try this shit, though. What the fuck? Okay, okay, we take that. All right, this one of the Amazon boxes right here. Um, I have an idea, but I ordered probably like $400 worth of shit, so I don't know what everything is. So, well, I know what everything is. I just don't know what order it came in. Okay, word, we starting it off good. So, 
I got the 48 Laws of Power. I just thought I'm going to start reading, bro. I don't know. I'm 23 now. I'm going to start reading again, but we got 48 Laws of Power. Your purchase made my day. Hope it makes your day. I don't know. This got to be another book. Got to be. I just don't know why the other one didn't come in packaging like that. Oh, no, it's not. All right, so I also ordered myself a journal, like one of the old timey, like aesthetic leather journals, bro. It's like a dark leather. I don't know, I just felt like I needed this. And if I was gonna use something to put all my notes and stuff in, like with my clothing brand stuff, y'all can see the pages in there. But I just wanted an old timey ass notebook. I don't know why, but I got this too. This is funny as fuck. <laughs> I got a pack of a hundred. Bro, I didn't order English breakfast, bro. I got Earl Grey. I'm gonna have to see what's up with Amazon on that, bro. Cause what the fuck? Uh, this right here is a toothbrush. I got a simple problem of like, just keep buying electric toothbrushes over and over again, but I bought those. And if y'all know, y'all know. The youngins, y'all probably don't know, but I ordered some Razzles too, bro. Razzles is like the candy that turned into gum. I don't know if y'all know about that, but if y'all do, drop it in the comments let me know that you know i gotta try some of them i'm actually about to eat one on camera bro i gotta try this shit i had these in forever they like legos they look like little legos bro that's really good not gonna lie origin from christina carpool i don't know what this is either oh my god bro razzles razzles the one bro can i just pop this off of course not michael kors is this mine Michael Kors glasses? Bro, I'm so confused right now. And some Versace glasses, bro. Okay, hold up, bro, cause what the fuck? Hey CJ, hope you love your new stylist, Sunny. Can't wait to see how you style them, hashtag sunglasses. This is from the Sunglasses Hut PR team. So I'm gonna show you how the two glasses that I did get from that. I got these Michael Kors frames. They just got the MK over there, MK over here. That's how they look on face. Bad bitch. That's all I'm saying. All right, now next into the, I can't keep showing this on camera. I'm sorry, y'all, hold up. Next, we got some Versace. Versace. And I kind of thought these was hard because they was a little similar to the, um, the Loewe glasses. I don't know, with the round frame on them, but these are the Versace frames. Check those out. Bow, bow, you feel me? You know. Calm, bro, calm. That's what's up, though, because I didn't have a fucking idea what neither one of these was from. I'm like, Michael Kors? Versace? And I thought it was for my girl, because she got a friend. So I was like, oh, maybe this was something she just sent to my house for her. But nah, shout out Sunglasses Hut, man. Thank y'all so much. Next box. We got a big Amazon box right here. Let's get into this one. Okay, so I don't know what that is, actually. We're going to put that to the side. But bathroom wipes. If y'all don't use wipes, you're disgusting. Sometimes you got to use them. You can't be walking around nothing. I ain't going to even get into that, bro. But also, I got this book right here by Rick Rubin. The Creative Art or The Creative Act, The Way of Being. And I told y'all, I'm finna start getting into books, bro. So I'm going to try and have this John read by like, give me like four days. I bought socks that go with my tabbies because I cannot keep splitting my own toe in my tabby boots. That is not pee. It's not something I want to keep doing. Uh, I bought a tape measure. Every fashion person, you should have one of these on hand. But I bought a tape measure just to steal measurements from garments, measure my favorite pants out. When you go to the store, you can measure out pants that you want. Get you a tape measure. Keep it in your uh, daily essentials bag. Okay, next, we have this right here. And I don't know, lip hygiene for my smokers, anybody who be smoking or anything like that. Get y'all some of these, bro. It's a brown sugar lip scrub. They keep your lips light, man. You don't have to worry about your lips getting super dark because you're smoking blunts all the time. So that's a good pickup to have, too. And hangers. These are my pants hangers. If y'all see over there how my pants are just down, I'm having a fuck ton of pants. So these are pants hangers that I'm going to use for those and i'm sure y'all have seen them in the video how i've used them before but it's just so your pants don't gotta be wrinkled up you can just have them straight leg down like it's in the store i think that's the last box i got two more boxes in there but all it is is boxes because i'm doing this thing where i'm shipping out like pieces to my supporters and i needed boxes that would fit 10 to 12 pieces in them clothing items in them so um 
Yeah, I think this is the last thing. CJ, appreciate you, bro. Keep going and representing for all of us Midwest kids. Shout out DB and the Midwest kids team. Hey, man. Shout out my boy DB. If y'all know, I got casted to shoot for Hollister, man, and he's a great creative, bro. Oh, shit. Damn. Oh, these is hard, bro. Nah, bro. Look at these. Damn. This is something I feel like I was genuinely missing in my collection, bro. But I'm sure they are inspired by like the Danner boot. Crazy ass piece, bro. Not gonna lie. Then we got these three pairs of pants right here. Let's open these up too. This feel like Christmas. I just got back from Philly, y'all. So what the fuck? These are like a flare work. Look at this. Hold up. Look how flared they are. They like, I don't know, these super wide leg though. We got those ones. And y'all see why I bought the pants hangers now. Oh uh, shit. I don't know why you sent me a 30, bro. These not gonna fit. I'm gonna have to get these to my girl, bro. But we got a 30 in these camo pants right here. I just got long ass legs, bro. It don't seem like the length really there. These would have been so fucking hard, bro. These are 30 also. Bro, bro, I'm not gonna be able to wear these, I don't think, bro. I don't know. Appreciate DB though, bro, because these right here, oh my gosh, pressure. This was the most important piece right here. Definitely busting a fit pick with these soon, but I think that was all the items, bro. A bunch of random shit. Um, Y'all yep. see everything in the background there now. Oh, I didn't open this one that y'all probably wanted to see. It's that time of the year, bro. So you gotta keep your mucus and your immune system right, bro. So I just got a kettle. That was it. Kettle for my tea, man. Um, and then I'ma just hit the store, get some vanilla extract, honey. The normal shit that I use every day, bro. But yeah, thank y'all for tuning in to this video. I'm sorry this shit was so random, but I've been doing a whole bunch of filming and not really a bunch of output, I'll say. But yeah, it's your boy CJ, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe bro that shit is never corny bro let's do it let's keep turning up but i appreciate y'all love i'm out